Hey, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm here to talk about how to multiply fractions with whole numbers and cubes. Now, when it comes to fractions with whole numbers and cubes, you're basically following the standard rules of multiplying fractions, as long as you remember to simplify along the way and reduce at the end if possible. So if you have fractions that have whole numbers and cubes, you'll have, for example, 3x to the third over y cubed times 5y to the third over z cubed. Now, this is an example of fractions and cubes together, and what you want to do is, again, follow the rules of fraction multiplication and reduction and go from there. Now, one approach is you can see if you can reduce right away, and as you can see, the y cubes actually cancel completely, but no, that's about it because the 3 and the 5 are on the same side and the x does not cancel with the z. So what you do is you just multiply across. So 3 times 5 is 15. x cubed doesn't really have anything else in the numerator, so the numerator is 15x cubed. And then the denominator is just left with z to the third, and that's your final answer. So when it comes to multiplying fractions with whole numbers and cubes, see if you can reduce along the way and then multiply at the end so it saves you some work as you go along. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's a brief introduction on how to multiply fractions with whole numbers and cubes.